Hi folks, uh, so this one is going to look at Lyme Regis. This is actually um, a request from a subscriber, but I'm really fond of Lyme. I love going there. It's, it's a beautiful part of the world, so I'm happy to put one together that helps you with this case study. Um, so Lyme Regis, let's pop it as our title. Lyme Regis is in Dorset on the way to Devon. And as I said, it's a really lovely part of the world. We are looking at this case study purely for um, its defences. Okay, sea defences. Uh, and what they've done there, they've spent lots of money and it's been really successful. We'll look at the pros and cons of, of all of it uh, and give you a usual overview with the infographic. So if you draw kind of a coastline like this, to start with, so you've got a nice sort of curved line across your page. Um, and then we're going to pop a few things in. So we're going to put um, our original kind of harbour arm in place. So if you, if you want to watch me um, and then put some in if you want, if that's helpful, that's totally up to you. Because um, it's, it's got quite a lot going on in Lyme Regis. There's a, a number of different defences in place and I'm going to take it off there. So that, that way heads off to kind of the cliffs um, and I'm not going to get into the cliffs too much today. Instead I'm going to focus on what's happened actually in Lyme Regis. So if we label some of these we've got beach down here, just draw some little dots in. Uh, we've got a small beach in there, I'll just do the dots so I won't write it. Um, then we've got our harbour, over here we just, oh yeah, we need to add in this arm here. Hopefully. Uh, and so we know that that's our harbour. I'm going to draw some boats. Basically like little triangles um, in a row because they are more or less in a row. If you want to, you can give them masts as well. Uh, these are sort of private boat owners. We could also draw some fishing boats because there is a fishing fleet. So maybe some kind of bigger boats over here in this corner. There we go. Um, but yeah, there's quite a big kind of uh, local fishing fleet that supports lots of local restaurants as well. And then over here we've got, uh, again, we've got kind of more beach. So we'll just put some dots in place, there we go, um, and then our rock armour, so I'll talk a bit more about this in a minute when we label it, but if you just draw those big kind of granite boulders that you see down near us at Princeton, there's quite a few West Witterings and Hailing, um, and these have been put in at Lyme Regis to protect the existing defences, um, they break up a lot of energy from the storm waves. They don't require any maintenance at all. Um, and they're really effective and also fairly cheap um, in terms of you know, their maintenance costs and their initial purchase cost. So I'll just pop all of those in. Lovely. If you can hear that, it's just started hailing here, I think. Oh, just heavy rain. Okay. Um, so this is Lyme Regis, this is the town, okay, over here. Um, you know, we can get your ice creams and your, you know, the beach huts all along there. I'll just draw a couple of simple looking beach huts, um, just to give you that sense, yeah, sense of the promenade and the walkways and things around there. There we go. Lovely. Um, so what have they done? They have done an awful lot of things. Let's start by labelling some of this rock armour. So rock armour, as I said, is large granite uh, boulders. They put them on ships, they bring them over from Norway. Um, here they've been placed in front of a section of seawall. I'm just going to put another arrow over there. So what, what you've got basically is the seawall here. It's about 390 meters of the seawall um, and then essentially to keep the seawall in good condition they add the rock armor to it to protect it over here is a bit different they've put it on to sort of extend that harbor arm 
that's what these these parts are called and that's protecting there's another harbour arm these are made of uh, reinforced concrete normally um, but as you know our weather's getting a bit more ex you know extreme in times a bit more stormier um, these need re maintenance they need repair and putting in place you know the rock armour basically helps uh, support it and strengthen it so we'll put rock armour to strengthen the seawall and the walkway because you can walk all the way down there okay if you want to do some fishing or some crabbing it's a nice spot okay um so as well as all the rock armour we mustn't forget that the beach itself so I'm just gonna put some more dots in here right the beaches all along from Lime Regis all of these beaches um, are, they're not artificial as such because they, they would be there anyway but they're bigger and they're healthier because of something called beach replenishment okay so I'm just going to draw an arrow to this one section of beach but I want you to remember that it's for all the beaches okay so this is called beach replenishment and they're replenishing um, the material that's on there so in Lime Regis it's a mixture of um, sort of topping up sand and shingle so topping up sand and shingle and the reason that they do that is because the beaches themselves are a sea defence they absorb a lot of wave energy um, so we could put that where should I put that uh, let's go there so another arrow to this big beach and we're going to say wide sandy and shingle beach beaches absorb wave energy okay so essentially the beach is the lot is the first line of defense it's not in this case because you've got the harbor arms but but a beach is a big uh, line of defence before you actually get to those beach huts, the houses, the restaurants, the cafes and so on. Now where are they getting the sand from? I'll tell you where they're getting it from. They're dredging the harbour. So this is our harbour, isn't it? Got our harbour arms either side of it. So this area here is dredged. Now dredging is where they bring in a, a big boat and it has this clever adaptation and they're able to scoop, essentially like sift um, and collect all the sand and the sediment and the shingle from inside the harbour. So if we write the harbour is dredged, what's dredged or dredging, I'm going to put dredged. Harbour is dredged every year, okay, so do that every single year, probably in the summer or just before the summer. Uh, they do that to improve navigation, so it means that those fishing boats can get in and out even, you know, close to the low tide. And the sand is used to replenish the beach. So I'll just say that one more time. So, harbour is dredged every year to improve navigation and the sand is used to replenish the beach. So there's a really nice kind of closed loop here where one thing is then recycled and used elsewhere, which is really good. Okay, um, so we've talked a bit about a rock armour, we've talked about beach replenishment, we've talked about the effectiveness of beaches. Now, quite a lot of um, Lime Regis, I'll just do it as almost uh, this kind of darker sections, it has quite a lot of seawall. Now some of this is old, you know, it was put in place in the sort of 1970s. Some of it's new, like this 390 metres of seawall over uh, on the north, sort of northwest side. Um, but most of it is being managed and looked after and maintained. And, and recently they spent uh, 1.4 million, so a lot of money, on new seawall. Seawall's really effective.
effective, but it's also really expensive. <laughs> so it's a bit of a uh, difficult one, really. A lot of times councils and the environment agency don't have the money for it, but if you have got it and you can make it work, it's excellent. It's a really good resource, especially used with rock armor. Okay, let's go through, let's draw a smiley face and talk about some of the benefits. Okay, or the advantages. Um, so firstly, the seawall, the rock armour, the beach replenishment, it's all working. Okay, defences are protecting the coastline. And, and we know this because there's been a number of big storms since and they've worked really well. So the defences are protecting the coastline. That's not to say they always will, they have a lifespan, might last 50, 100 years, but right now they're working. Also, visitor numbers have increased and they think that that's due to the attractiveness of the seafront. There's a lot more beach for people to come and sit on. Um, as you know, in British summertime, you know, people love going to the seaside, get an ice cream, sit on the beach, dig a hole, sunbathe. So yeah, visitor numbers have increased and that's obviously really good for the local economy. Um, not only that, but the harbour is protected. And that, because the harbour's protected, boat owners and the fishing fleet, um, I just wonder about writing fishing fleet, I might do, fishing fleet, uh, are protected too. So there's people's income, isn't it? It's people's livelihoods. So the harbour is protected is another good one. Okay, there have been some negatives, not many. Um, but they're worth mentioning, especially if you get a question where you need some negatives. Um, now, because of all the new visitors, unfortunately, there's been some traffic congestion. Now, Lyme Regis is a beautiful place, but the roads getting to it are not easy. There is one road in, literally one road in and one road out, and they're kind of um, one-way systems. And so we've got a lot of traffic congestion down there. It's not easy. I'm not sure how they're going to get around that because like, they literally need to build more roads otherwise. Um, not only that, but litter has increased. So sadly, with more visitors, you get more litter. People leaving things like fish and chip packets or you know, crisps and chocolate and things like that. Drinks, cans around. Um, and lastly, some people, not everyone, but some people feel that these new defences have kind of spoiled the natural landscape. So we'll put some feel that new defences spoil the natural landscape. Okay, because there's a lot, all those rock armour, all that concrete, the seawall, um, it's not natural. Okay, so there's an understanding there, isn't there, of that. Okay, um, I hope that's helpful. Just a quick overview of Lyme Regis and all its different sea defences.